the authoritative Dakota <laughs> Goldie right Woo! there. Glimpse, season four, Fall of the Skies. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your character's evolved over the last few seasons. It's great to see this kind of show being shot here in Vancouver, and now you've got the recurring role. Yeah. Tell us about it. You know, there's such an appetite for the uh, alien invasion. The world's coming to an end, yeah, and yeah, someone's yeah. got to save us. Uh, which I don't. I'm not I'm not the savior type. I'm quite the opposite. But uh, it was fun, man. Falling Skies is a cool show, and I haven't done much sci-fi, so that's a great show to break into the industry, or the, that part of the industry with. And you know what the sci-fi genre, what do, what do you think makes uh, this show stand out? Because to have four seasons of any show, period, I mean, that's a great success. Yeah, well, it's unique. Like, my character, is, it's a little bit different, right? And it's very much rooted in the history, my character, of what he represents. Because he, let's be honest, he's very much Nazi-esque, right? Which, work, which works, because I got the blonde hair. But uh, it's fun, man. It's, it's a cool show, because it's, it's, it's real, too. It's humans fighting the aliens, right? It's a real thing. And you've got some recognizable faces uh, here yeah. in this show. Tell us about the stars. I know a while we see on screen right yeah. there. Who do you get to work with? Uh, I got to work with Noah Wiley a little bit. I got to work mainly with Max and Knight because this season is quite different than the three previous in the fact that they're split up and all the young boys have to find each other and reconnect. So uh, Matt Mason is the character. He unfortunately finds himself in my re-education camp run by Kent Matthews. Kent Matthews is doing uh, major things in season four, but tell us about the experience. I mean, any aspiring actors, they, they, they want that reoccurring role, yeah. either on the small screen or big screen, but the thrill of what's that like, one, to get the call, and then two, the table read of sitting around these stars and thinking, well, okay, this is real life. We're going to work. I know. It's funny because when you book the role, and I'm sure every actor can attest to this, you go on IMDb and you look up the actors you're going to work with, and they're massive stars. They're these big guys like Doug Jones, Noah Wiley, Will Patton. They're guys I've, I've watched my whole life growing up. And you get to set, or you get on the read through for the first season and the first episode, and it's nuts. You're sitting at the table and you got the directors, producers, writers, and you're with like shoulder to shoulder with these massive stars, and it's a cool feeling. Cool that you earned your spot there with them, right? Earning your spot is one thing, then you have to earn your keep being on set but yeah. when you watch actors with a great deal of experience say Noah Wiley for example is there one thing you kind of pick up on whether it's words whether it's the way he carries himself on set he's just a master of the craft right when he when he gets on set he knows exactly what's going on and I try my best to know exactly what's going on as well but he's just he, he's so he's so seasoned right and he knows exactly how to run the set and he knows exactly about his character he's been playing this character for four years now that's a long time and he's so passionate still so it's cool to see I remember uh, I, I don't remember what the episode was but we we were on a break and uh, Noah Wiley and Will Patton were sitting outside on the grass. It's a sunny day, so I went up and talked to them. And Will Patton, he's just uh, hes just so passionate about his character. He's such an advocate for his character, right? So it's really cool to see someone's that passionate after four years. It's a long time playing one dude, right? Passionate and approachable, because uh, I guess the culture on set is you guys are all one family trying to make. Yeah, we're all, uh, whether you're crew or you're actor, you're all trying to make something together, right? You're making a production work. And if you didn't have the gaffers and they weren't doing their job and you didn't have the actors and we weren't, weren't, we weren't doing our job, it wouldn't work. Work. You wouldn't have the show, right? Yeah, so you got the show. Season 4 is going to debut tonight on Super Channel. Yeah. And then you've got momentum because there are a couple of new projects, uh, Movie Side, that uh, is going on. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, I, uh, luckily I have a couple of cool films coming out, a couple of cool indies coming out. Uh, one called Sitting on the Edge of Marlene, which just won two Leos here. Uh, Anna Valine, the director, she won a Leo, which is great. We're super excited for her. And a Black Fly, which is like a Canadian horror thriller film that's uh, based on a true story, actually, by Jason Bork. So it's really nice. cool. You got it together. How old are you? I 19. 19, you yeah. have this much success. Any advice to aspiring actors here in the community? Uh, be flexible. And that's when you get on set, right? Well, how it's written, how the script is, it's never it's going to be. You're never, you're never going to film what's written on the page, right? So you've got to be flexible. Things change fast. So you've got to be able to run with the punches. And have good hair. This yes. is impressive. Have, like, look at your hair. What we're seeing That's right good hair, too, though. you got some nice hair. Maybe I'll try and sneak in for a cameo following Sky <laughs> season five. We'll see. Dakota, great to meet you, man. Thank you so much for having me. Congrats on the success. Again, season four debuts tonight.